Our project began with a trip to our local metal supply shop. We picked up some pipes and now we can start making a frame. So far I've been getting some great results with Lincoln Electric flux core wire. So I'm going to set up my machine and I'm going to start welding with this wire. Motorcycle axle bolts were kind of expensive so I decided to make my own. Bicycle seat post fit perfectly into the wheel bearings. I'll get to it in a minute but first let's start working on the frame. So this head tube is going to be used on our frame. I cleaned it up as much as I could before I welded it on. Bicycle fork was just too narrow for the stat wheel so what are you going to do folks? That's right you're going to cut it and modify it. Frame is going to be made out of one inch schedule 40 pipe and it's going to be heavy duty. Oh here's a fun fact if you guys are planning on using this pipe bender for tubing it will kink your tube because it's specifically designed for pipe. Now that both pipes are equally bent let's make a new fork. Who needs steel toe shoes when you have these awesome flip flops? Can someone tell this guy to stop wearing flip flops while welding? Now let's move on to the axle bolt. I'm going to take the seat post and I'm going to cut off these parts here. I'm going to take regular car lug nuts, round off the edges and weld them on the inside of the seat post. Make the marks where I'm going to make the cuts and then I cut it off. Let's round off the edges. Now here's what the finished axle bolt looks like. It's hollow on the inside and sturdy enough to hold the weight of the entire contraption. Now let's see if it fits inside the wheel bearings. Ooh, nice and snug. I tacked all the two metal pieces together and this is going to be my front fork axle bolt brackets. Found a sweet spot for the wheel and tack welded the brackets. Moving on to the frame I took some basic measurements and tried to get the wheel as close as possible to the engine so that the frame would look somewhat proportionate. The pipe bender is very limited to what it can do but if you need to do anything more than 90 degrees it will probably kink your pipe. Here's how I check my pipes. If there's no gaps in between then I got a good angle. Made the handlebars slightly shorter. Whenever I weld two pipes together I usually reinforce it with a little insert that'll make the pipe nice and rigid. Filing down your welds will make your work look seamless. Reinforce the frame in the weakest spot. Let's make engine mount. All I need is a small section. Uh oh, here comes the inspector sniffing high knees. Looks like the work's been approved. This engine had some curves, 
so I ground it off excess amount for a perfect fit. The same angle iron was used for axle bearing hangers. Found a sweet spot and welded the hangers to the frame. So this thing right here is going to be the box for the wiring and the battery. This tubular loop will reinforce the frame, act as a handle and a bumper. Let's weld some foot pegs, shall we? I'm also gonna add homemade chain tensioner right up here. Once I found a good spot, I welded the front caliper to the fork. New exhaust pipe was just too nice to hack it all up, so I decided to make my own. Weld the three different pieces and my exhaust pipe was complete. And finally it's time to clean up the frame and paint it. I'm using acetone to remove all the dust and grease particles. Once the paint dries we're gonna reassemble it and take it for a spin. This trike is going to be electric start, so we bought a brand new battery and let's follow the directions and put some acid in it. This stuff is very corrosive, maybe I should wear some gloves. So basically you flip it over and let the sulfuric acid fill the battery. Once the fluid fills the battery, you seal it up and charge the battery. Alright, so let's reassemble the trike. This gas tank was $10 on Amazon. Start and kill switch right here. And throttle grips were like 12 bucks on eBay. <laughs> 